Hey everybody, Ann here, having my coffee inside the tiny house because it's freezing. It is a cold morning and I got the wood burning stove going and I got homestead hair, don't care, just like Teresa said. Well, it is going to rain. It's going to rain all day today, so don't know. Don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to figure it out. <sighs> For whatever reason, these two things have been calling to me from underneath the bed. Take me out, Anne, tiny life. We need to do some work. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Would you look at that? Oh, my gosh. I got that whole wall done. Yes, indeed. Made a mess, but I'm going to sweep up here in a minute. All right, so I used the one whole roll that I had left, and I used some remnants. Just put them together. <laughs> I, I couldn't decide if I wanted to go over or under, so I tried both ways, and I kind of like it the way that one is a little bit better. Probably use too many staples. I don't care. Probably could staple more in some places. I might go back and do that later. But this wall is done. So all that's left is around this window, and I may end up using a different kind of insulation. I'm not sure. Uh, so this window needs to be done. This whole wall needs to be done. And it's going to be hard because it's all different little sizes. I know it's so hard to see because the light's shining towards me. So this whole wall needs to be done. I've got two more little things over there that I need to do. And then, you know, let me get over this thing here then that window has to be done. So only two windows, two things over there, that wall, and of course the ceiling. So I've got a little bit more insulation out in the van, in the front, it's all covered up. So I'm not really sure if that's gonna be enough to finish it, it's all remnants. So I don't know, I think on another day I will do a little bit more, but this is it for today. And yeah, it feels good having done just a little bit more. I got everything put back together. And yeah, I just brought that drape up a little bit so that I wouldn't be working with food right up next to the insulation. I don't know if it'll make a difference or not. We'll just have to wait and see. But I do kind of like the way that my kitchen is turning out. I do. I like that turned sideways. And once the walls are up, it's going to look so much nicer. And I got that over there. So, well, at least I accomplished something today, right? So I'm going to reward myself with a nice, big, big cup of tea. And it is the most delicious tea I have ever had. I put a little bit of honey in it. A wonderful, wonderful person gave me this. It's Bengal Spice Celestial Seasons Herbal Caffeine Free. This stuff, you guys, is absolutely delicious. You've got to try it. Put a little honey in there, and it is just so good. It says non-GMO verified, right on. So, yeah, anyhow, I got that done. Yay! I got a little of the I word done. Now, before you guys start criticizing and say you did it wrong or you should have done it this other way, I'm going to show you a couple things about a couple ways you can do insulation. See that? That's the first piece of insulation I put up after doing much research and found that some people prefer to do it this way, but then other people prefer to do it this way, over the stud, and then the other piece comes over this. Now, this is harder to do when you staple it to the inside of the stud, but many people like to do this, especially drywallers, because it is easier to see the stud where it's at and they can put the drywall up easier. So this is a perfectly acceptable way to do insulation. I just found it easier to do it, to staple it over the top of the stud. So each way, both ways, insulate just as well. One makes it easier to put up the walls, drywall or whatever. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, mark the studs down on the floor, but you can kind of tell where they are by tapping on the wood anyhow. So any of you, elitists <laughs> or insulation zealots who insist that you have to do it this way and this way is wrong or vice versa you are both right they can be done both ways so don't get up in arms because I'm doing it over the studs 
You know what's so cool? Is looking out my window and seeing chickens on my porch. The only bad thing about it is they poop. They poop all over the place. I'm cleaning up chicken poop off my porch every single day. Look at you sweet chickens. There's nothing for you to eat up there. I love chickens so much. This chicken ain't moving. She talking to me. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> Look at that face. She's literally right up against the camera. She's trying to figure. Look at you. You sure are pretty. Look at that comb. It's starting to get bigger and it's starting to get red. It's like she's trying to look over the top of my camera to see me. <laughs> you silly girl. Ooh, looks like quite a few of the others came running. Romeo's got them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Please don't peck my Christmas tree. Please, please, please. Romeo is such a good rooster. Oh, I think it's frisbee time. We have a little break in the rain, so let's get to it. Let's play with your new, well, it's kind of new. I have decided to not let her just keep this outside with her and to not let her chew on it because she's already started. And I don't want her to ruin this one too, so. All right, I should have the tripod. You ready, girl? Let's go get it. Not a good throw. <laughs> Bring it here. Come on, girlfriend. Bring it here. Okay, let's see if I can throw it with this hand and have any better luck. Hey, go get it. Not a good throw. Okay. It's starting to rain again, so we're going to do this just a couple more times. It's better when I'm not filming because I can throw it better. All right, Judy, drop it. Drop it. Come on. Drop it. I'm not going to play with you anymore. <sighs> Frustrating. All right, it's starting to rain again. we got to go inside. Before I do go inside, I just wanted to show you. Uh, yep, I did get a bunch of soil in there. There's some eggshells down in there. There's some coffee grounds down in there. I covered the whole uh, soil with wood ash. And I just put this over the top of it because I don't want the chickens getting in there and kicking out all the soil. They like to get up here and kind of roost and poop in it, which is just fine with me. So the next layer is going to be some more leaves and or maybe maybe even some chicken bedding put it down in there maybe some of those chickens I mean kitchen scraps I got a whole bunch of kitchen scraps um, then then more soil uh, I'm just gonna keep layering it up and get it a couple more feet above these little logs here yep it's coming along you just like to hang out around me don't you yes you do you just love me. You talking to me? What's on your mind, girlfriend? You're so sweet. I love the little sounds they make. <sighs> it's starting to get cold outside. It's 40 degrees now and it's starting to drop. And I think it's going to get down to freezing tonight. So I'm going to go inside and just light a fire put on a big pot of soup and then just enjoy my cozy little cabin. It's just getting more cozy all the time. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.